Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. If you are, then there's a subscribe, oh my, subscribe button down below for you to press to join the very few people in my watches, viewers section, whatever. <laughs> this is going to be my one year and three month braces update. I will link my playlist with all of my other braces videos, my series playlist in the corner here. First things first. I got a new colour on my brackets, I got purple which I thought I'd had before and I'll insert the picture of the little key ring that has all of the colour options on it. I'll show you which one it is and I'll point to it. I thought I'd asked for that one before but it came out looking lilac and I and I was really scared to like get a purple again but then I said to her what does this one actually come out like, does it get lighter when it's like, stretched out? And she said no and I said because I had it before and it came out like that. We realised that what the insistent that day must have put on the wrong colour but oh well yeah so I got purple and I actually really like it this time. There was a gap between my two bottom teeth that had started forming and I have I had no idea why and it was just like really really annoying and weird and it was like apart and slightly more forward um, and they realised that it must have been the elastic can I think I've got it on the wrong hook it must have been the elastic that was doing it like pulling it apart because of the tension and whatever and the reason for that is because there wasn't enough space for this tooth which is crowding those of you who are a fellow brace lace, then you will know the technical terms of what crowding is and all that. It's just like when there's not enough space and it's crooked and wonky and out of alignment, all that, all that good stuff. So yeah, they had to do what they called an IDS, which is interdental smoothing, sanding, something like that. It's essentially a nail file but for your teeth to file away the enamel so they had to put that between here and here so that there, there was enough space for the tooth to be pulled back into the right alignment so that was pretty fun and it was honestly the most cringy feeling I have ever experienced well actually not ever it was it's cringy but not as cringy when you put your food in the sink in the kitchen um, when you put your hand in the sink in the kitchen and there's like little bits of gross food in it <laughs> it's not as bad as that level of cringe but it was still cringy it didn't take long but yeah didn't like it and it already looks better like as you can tell there is no gap between them anymore they removed the under tie ligature power chain on the bottom row to allow for that movement on the bottom on the bottom row that needs to happen but they kept it on the top to hold it all in place there was they put a slight bend on the upper arch wire to level out the heights and more of my two front teeth on the upper because there was like a height problem still that then like I've had it before and I mentioned it before but it was just like a final like tweak that was kind of literally like the tiniest of difference between it so they're trying to put it right they exaggerated the previous bends in the art wires from my last two appointments i believe to help the movement even more to try and solidify that's not the right word to try and perfect my bite or at least almost perfect it on this side and somewhere on this side yeah complicated but mainly like the back teeth and the molar teeth um it's where yeah, it had to happen i have a, another appointment booked in again for december 11th and this time it's only in like four weeks time because my next appointment was originally going to be 8th of january 8th of january so after christmas after new year but because of the movement and adjustments they're still having to make they've had to try and squeeze me in before then to see how it's going and if there's anything else that needs to be done then 
more how to change like my appointments around and stuff I guess to allow for more time for the for the impressions and then the pictures and x-rays and then debonding and all that retainer stuff I did mention that I might need more of the IDS treatments like the filing treatment on the bottom depending on how it works this time around or if it needs to be more then it will be done more so yeah and I was thinking maybe I might go for the red colours on the brackets for Christmas because you know it's like festive and seasonal maybe I don't know hit the like button if you think I should get the red brands for Christmas or if not then comment down any suggestions um, down below and I'll take into account your advice and options and weigh out what I think I might want to go with or I'll just be spontaneous like I was this time on Tuesday so yeah and um, that is everything I believe I will oh wait no I'm wrong elastics I still have to wear elastics still on this side 24 7 and still this one at night both sides are still the red packets which are the uh, medium 3 to 16 inch 4.8 millimeters yeah I don't know it's so confusing with these I much prefer how they do them in America when they have like the animals because at least then people are like oh yeah that's like that's mine that's my one um but with this it's just like <laughs> okay I don't even know what that means but it's in a slightly different shape this time so I'm in a box shape still but with a different upper connection like so just like that it's in the same place on this side at night as well and now that is everything yeah who looks who likes my hair by the way I've done like some Dutch braids halfway down and then tied it off and I kind of like it it's like a half and half bit but a bit more with a bit more flair to it I will see you in my next video on Sunday because I am definitely uploading one it will be another original because I have just finished writing it so yeah that will be up and if you want to watch that then make sure you're subscribed so you'll be notified for it and you can even turn the little bell notifications on if you want if your sub boxes don't work which no, a lot of people don't that's that and um before you go make sure to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video if you like music then send to me as a 